Hey everybody, it's Gladys back here once again, and this is Bullshit Episode 9. Thank you very much for joining me. We've got a lot to cover today. It's a shorter video, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, starting off, I want to talk about a huge announcement that I just saw this morning, posted just a few minutes ago over Reddit, um, and it's confirming several things that were rumored for the new Endgame pack that's going to be out in March. Um, some things that we've got confirmed here are Capture the Flag game modes, uh, we've got air superiority, similar to tank superiority from Armored Kill, but this is going to be with, I'm supposing, lots of jets. Uh, so that's going to be awesome, and that was something that I had said that they should do, or hoped that they would do, rather, um, after we got tank superiority. I said, you know, that'd be fantastic if we could have massive dogfights. Give me those dog tags! Um, so, we've got capture the flag, air superiority, we've got at least one new anti-aircraft vehicle. It's supposed to be lighter weight, faster... Um, so that should be a lot of fun. We've got motorcycles, which we already knew. Four new maps. And then they said something about a new dropship with vehicle drop capabilities. And if so, that's going to be fantastic. Um, so, like, I'm just... Uh, man, I'm so excited. Battlefield's been doing so well with their DLCs. I feel like there really hasn't been any bad DLCs. There's been some that obviously people have favored over the others. Some that I favor over the, over the others. But... As far as DLC goes, there hasn't been anything that I've been really unhappy with. Um, and all of it has been geared toward expanding the game, and it's just... I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, and I'm looking so forward to this. And Link kept coming after my tags in this game. Like, every opportunity he took, he would try to come after my tags. So, um, I, I managed to shut him down for this whole game, and he didn't get him not once. But uh, it was a very close call <laughs> a few times there. Um, this gameplay, we're playing on, um, oh shit, what is this, Operation 925, and uh, I'm using the AS Val, which, if you guys remember from a while back, I didn't really care for this weapon. I felt like it was mediocre and, and magnum, bro. Uh, mediocre in just about every aspect, like, it just, it just didn't seem to excel really anywhere. It, its fire rate, I don't think, was exceptional. Its accuracy, meh. Um, they, they must have done something to this. Okay, and then, hang on, this guy that I just killed, Jar Jar, that first one, not the support guy around the corner, but that first guy, Jar Jar, I had his number the whole game, and I felt so bad, and there he is again, Jar Jar, like, okay, you'll see, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it out, uh, and I round the corner against two shotgun guys there, no chance, watch this defense right here, this is like one of my favorite clips in this game, so I get these two guys, and then I'm like, listen, man, I'm trying to finish my lunch, go away, I'm not done. <laughs> um, just good defense. Like, A was uh, a total clusterfuck for this whole game. That's where all the action was taking place. It was over at Alpha. And then 3, 2, I get this guy. I got two shots left, and bam. Take it home for the victory. Um, and then here I got a little overzealous. I was like, yeah, Magnum, I'm doing great right now. And I didn't know how many guys there were going to be, so I just got a little overambitious. Um, around the corner, and there's four guys. One happens to be looking at me, so nothing I can do there. I should have just reloaded. Uh, and taking my time and come back out there smart, but I didn't. So you know, you live and you learn. And I kept taking, getting taken down on these stairs right here. Like you'll see, like we'll round the corner, and then I just I don't stand a chance against a guy. I do get one uh, coming up here pretty shortly, and then like right here I spawn in on left hook, and I have no chance. I don't know why I didn't spawn in immediately because you can see I had plenty of time, but I spawn in worst time possible and immediately get taken out, shot in the face. As soon as I get in there. And that almost looks like the camera could have been flipped. Because that's exactly where I was. And he was gunning me down from the top of the stairs. So that was kind of a cool little flip right there, I thought. Okay, so we've got the end game announcements over with for right now. Um, coming up on February 12th, we've got... Aliens Colonial Marines, which the clan and I are super excited for. We've all got it on pre-order. And I know that we're going to be doing uh, four-player co-op mode. We're going to be broadcasting that. So the whole time that we're gaming on there will be recorded. We'll put it up in several episodes. And that should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. This game has been in development. And But watch this. Hold on. That's, that's like predicting where he's going to go just perfectly. I mean perfectly. I knew exactly what he was going to do. Um, anyways, so I'm so excited, and that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to broadcast the whole thing, like I said, so that's going to be coming up here in the next couple weeks. Um, Dust 514, I'll go on that for a little bit, 
it just entered the open beta um, I think last week so there's gonna be a lot of new players to that and we this is a game that we've been watching very closely I say we I mean myself and the rest of the clan uh, we've been watching very closely the development and life cycle of dust we played during its closed beta and it's now in the open beta we've been gearing up for it since it was announced months and months ago so this has been something we've been looking forward to and keeping an eye on and it's an extremely complicated game like it goes in depth with so many things and I think a lot of people are gonna be lost especially if they don't give it a chance if they're not patient and then if they don't try to take the time to learn the game they're just gonna get turned off by it and they're not gonna play so to try to not really educate you know but just just to almost have walkthroughs and kind of give people an idea of what they're getting into and try to explain a few things that people are gonna have to question we're gonna be doing like a mini series talking purely about dust and eve and how those universes connect and what it means for us as console gamers and try to break down some of the more complicated features of the game such as uh, drop shoot their drop suit detailing and uh, skills and and all that stuff and your loadouts and explaining the economy of the game so we're gonna go pretty in-depth into that I don't know how long the series is gonna go for like I said it's just gonna be a mini series it's not gonna be a completely regular thing like the four series that we have going now but um, that is something that we're gonna be doing hopefully pretty soon here in the next uh, next two weeks we'll probably start rolling out some videos for that so that'll be fun that'll be interesting and that'll kinda change the dynamic of the YouTube channel as well expanding it even further um, I want to try to do battle chat like once a week now because there's this amazing feature on TeamSpeak that I just found out about to where and Magnum where's your accuracy um, to where you can record both sides of the conversation on TeamSpeak from one side for, for instance if I get on TeamSpeak with somebody else I can hit record and record his voice and my voice and this is another instance of me getting overzealous I'd like no man the guy's got a shotgun I shouldn't have rounded that corner that close that's just dumb anyways so since TeamSpeak can record both sides of the conversation um, it has allowed me to really take a lot of the time out of doing a battle chat episode because how I was doing it before was that we would each record our own file and then he would send it to me I would have to link up or sync rather the uh, the audio files and get them right on time and then try to balance it because the audio levels would be different for each file and it was a real real nightmare to try to do a battle chat before and now this has just made it so much easier so I want to try to do battle chat at least once a week so for you guys on reddit for the people on YouTube that want to get on the conversation people on our Facebook page um, and then here I get a, a double on Jar Jar again I'm sorry I'm so sorry uh, for everybody that wants to get on, in on the conversation, on the battle chats, just let me know. Because we can record it just about any time I'm available. I would say um, nearly every day after 6 p.m. Eastern time, I'm available. And it, it'll only take maybe 30, 45 minutes-ish, uh, you know, depending on how long we want to go for. But the requirements to do a battle chat with me are simply to have TeamSpeak, uh, a headset for your PC, and all you got to do is just write down maybe five or six subjects and then between us bullshitting in between there and like a kind of a call and answer type of deal with both of us talking over one subject I think that'll be plenty of time I want to try to get each episode over 20 minutes but no longer than 45 I think that's a a good happy medium in that area but I want to try to do a battle chat once a week and I think that's totally doable with the amount of users that we have I can do return visits we could do part one part two like I just did with cryptic panther um, there's a lot of information out there a lot of stuff that we haven't been able to talk about and I know there's a number of you that have been wanting to get in on the battle chat series and I'd be more than happy to have you if I've passed you over um, in the past you know to where you said you wanted to and I picked somebody else don't be discouraged um, it's it's purely just kind of like sometimes it's been oh I recognize this name but I don't know this guy so I'll grab the guy that I recognize you know and it's never with the intent of leaving somebody behind and not getting to them that wants to get on it's purely just been like convenience for me so far but I think now like I said with everything being made much easier for me as far as the TeamSpeak recording process goes 
um, it'll make it much easier. So I I can do a lot more battle chats more frequently, if you if you understand what I'm saying. So uh, just send me a message, let me know that you're interested, and we'll see what we can do, and hopefully we can get it done pretty soon. And the recording process is nice too because that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the next video that I'm going to be posting. I'm okay with stockpiling some of these recordings and just putting them up, you know, as I get a chance to. And there's Jar Jar again. I get shot down, but I still manage to get Jar Jar. Um I think this is him as Yep, there it is. Again, that's uh Nemesis Victim 100 points right there. That means I've got him 10 times without him killing me once. Now, he does get me a little bit later in the video but man 10 and 0 on this guy that's i'm so sorry like there it is that's the final trade back <laughs> and i think that's the last time that i get him um so okay the raw gameplay series where i just upload a clip and it's totally unedited it's a full gameplay everything included uh with no comms i think i'm gonna try to do those probably once every two days i'll try to upload them and it seems like the average length from there can be anywhere between 15 minutes to 35 minutes or so. I don't want to get them any longer than that because I think that's just too tedious. Like, at that point, you may as well just be playing. You know, there's no point in, in watching. But if I'm having a great game and it's a little shorter, if it's maybe 15, 20 minutes, I think that that's reasonable. So I'm trying to pick and choose here when I when I upload that but I want to try to reg upload regularly maybe every two days for that so hopefully we can get kind of not set days but you know you can expect every couple days I'm gonna throw a, a raw video out there maybe every three or four days a battle chat probably every week and a half almost two weeks I'll do another this is bullshit episode just because it takes a little bit of time for the subjects to stack up that I want to talk about you know I just I don't have an endless supply so it takes me a little bit I, I usually just write down throughout the week, you know, things that I want to talk about, and then I'll get to it during the next bullshit episode. Um, speaking of series and videos and everything, I wanted to ask you guys, and I really want your feedback on this. There's been a number of games that I've been playing recently. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got like hiccups or something. There's been a number of games that I've been playing recently that I'll get like these awesome little streaks, and I'll get like maybe 10, 15 kills in a row, whatever. I'll do something really cool, but it'll be a short clip. And my question is, like, do you guys want to see those short clips? Like, if I just upload the 30, 45 second little thing, do you guys want that as well, just showcasing something cool? Or do you want to stick with purely, like, the raw gameplays and then the rest of the commentaries and battle chats and stuff like that? So the question is, do you want short little action-y type videos, just showcasing one thing? Or would you prefer to stick with the current formula that we have? with the battle chats and all that stuff. So give me some feedback on that. I'd appreciate it. Um, it's just going to about do it for this episode of This Is Bullshit. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me here. This is about the length that I want to do. I think uh, 14 minutes or so is pretty perfect. Um, so thanks for watching. Again, make sure you hit subscribe to the YouTube and add us on Facebook as well. I've got the link in the description. Um, on Facebook, we do a lot more interaction with the community we post up what we're doing we get your input on ideas um and you know it's a cool place for us to kind of gather while we're not doing the youtube videos so make sure you add us on facebook that's real cool subscribe to the youtube and uh hope you guys do well out there and we'll see you on the battlefield take care